Wilkes-Barre Township Police Department. Right there. Let's go check out some of these cars. Unit 3, Dale Earnhardt, baby. I'm sorry, what's your name, Officer Clark? Chief Clark. Chief? Chief, Clark. Chief. Sorry, Chief. Yeah, hi. Sorry. And is there a reason why you're filming that? Uh, documentation for okay, dissemination that, to the public. It's actually against, it's against the uh, state law to record inside a police lobby. So, the state law? Yeah. Do you have a statute? Like what? What's 2020. The... Right. No First Amendment right to record video in the police lobby. Okay. See that? So. What's, what statute is that? You might not. It's Well, it's defying trespass. If I would tell you to leave and you don't leave, then right. it's. A, but it's it's a oh. supreme a superior court case. Okay. Right? Yep. Commonwealth v. Bradley. Look that up. I'll look it up. You can't record because because of, of you jeopardizing potential crime victims. Right. Undercover officers and confidential informants. I'm not trying to do anything. Oh no, I, I'm just. I just want to inform you. Yes, I so appreciate that, it. So that you understand, right. you go into so, certain police departments and they're going to toss you. Right. So, so just all right. uh, be careful it. with that. All right. Sure. Absolutely. And yeah, uh, Officer Santos can take care of that report for you. Okay. Thank right. So there's you no way to get a, a like. What's the policy then if, uh, like, for when an officer responds to an accident, like a crash? What What, what do you mean? What, Are they supposed to call EMS or? It, are they supposed to? It depends. It depends on what the circumstances are. The only thing we do, and that's where people people get confused, they think that uh, an automobile accident is a civil matter, essentially, right? So what what has happened is the police have gotten stuck in the mid, in the midst of documenting accidents and collecting statistics for the Department of Transportation. Okay. That's really the only thing police do in, for an automobile accident. Well, then what about? We don't determine who's at fault. So who we are, just document, fill it out, and go. Where does that go through? The police report? Well, I mean, I mean, on the police report, for example, it'll say that one car was going this way, the other car has a diagram. Who makes that diagram? The officer does. We don't determine who's at fault based on what they're being told on the scene. Right, so that's what I'm asking about your policy, because what if he was wrong in assessing his judgment? I'm not saying it was like, you know, he did it on purpose or anything, but I'm just saying, you know, what if he was wrong? That's why I was asking about the policy. If, well, there, there's, there's no protocol that requires a police officer to amend a report, Right. If you dispute the information that's on the report, it's ultimately you're going to have to go through your insurance company and have your insurance, your uh, automobile insurance rep, argue your point against the person that you were involved in the accident with. That's how that works. But if they don't want to argue it because the police report right now says that somebody is at fault, that's still on your. It's all on your automobile so it's still insurance. insurance. Yes, they okay. they you hire them, you pay insurance for them to represent you when you're involved in an incident like that. That's, that is, that's that what I thought them. too. Yeah, yes. I'm in agreement there. That is on them. Why else have insurance, right? Yep. 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 Oh, hey, and, thank you. I appreciate and, it.
I just have, I just have a, a 17 year old that just started driving and when we, we got do. the new oh. bill for the insurance, we I'm do. like, are you serious? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah, right. you make them work for you because you pay for that, right? All right. right. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Take care.